The weather is brought to you in part by the Water and Sewage Authority. Water, use what you need. The harsh dry conditions continue across Trinidad and Tobago, the drought warning in effect and a very dry atmosphere continues to plague much of the western eastern Caribbean. And we'll continue to see all of that uh, dry weather over the next uh, few days. We basically will have a ridge of high pressure building. There will be a few clouds around but most of that is actually cirrus cloud that is streaming off of Venezuela across Trinidad and Tobago on a jet streak and then out towards the Atlantic. They're not rain bearing but you definitely may provide a bit of shade from time to time. But tonight, mostly clear and cool. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, a touch breezy at times, and there's only a very low chance, about 10, 20% of us seeing a shower, but don't count on that as you go through the day. So definitely for Trinidad as well, a calm, clear night for you, and we will start Friday morning with sunshine around, the patchy clouds as well across the foothills of the Northern Range, and again, that low chance of a shower, maybe dusting a few sprinkles as you go through the day, but overall, the dry atmosphere will stifle most of that activity, so therefore only those localized showers are possible through the morning and afternoon. San Fernando and Point Fortin, as well as the Port of Spain, will likely feel warmer than usual, simply because of the concrete around. So 32 expected in Port of Spain, out towards Chukwonas and into Arima, 31 likely there, and Fort Tobago, 30 to 31 is expected. Saturday and Sunday, very little is set to change. A few clouds may be passing through, a few brief showers are possible, and then on Monday, the ridge of high pressure will return in earnest with a lot of sunshine. Heading to the seas, the sailors will likely see some stronger winds from the northeast of the 20 knots. A few white caps and some sea spray are expected, but the seas will likely still remain slight offshore, 1 to 1.5 meters in the Caribbean, with east northeasterly swells of 8 to 9 seconds. And you'll notice just the, the low tide at noon, and you've got your high tide at 6 p.m. Now, for the rest of the eastern Caribbean, it remains mostly settled. Up towards the north, we do have a frontal system there, as well as an upper level trough, and that is the main reason why there's a bit more moisture hanging around uh, Puerto Rico as well as the Leeward Islands also down towards the Dominican Republic so a few showers expected for Santo Domingo but Kingston pleasant at 29 degrees Celsius and we will pick up those showers as we talked about in uh, most of uh, the Antigua as well as into St. Kitts we will continue to see some damp spots from time to time and towards the south the sunshine remains for Georgetown as well uh, partly cloudy skies possibly high of 30 degrees Celsius expected through Friday but for us sunny and breezy the odd brief shower around is still feeling quite comfortable with 32 degrees Celsius expected high on Friday so that's your weather and that's it from me the weather was brought to you in part by the water and sewage authority water use what you need <laughs>